بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Our sermon for today has to do with hypocrisy. Hypocrites appeared only after the migration of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam from Mecca to Medina. At the early stage of Islam, it was only two groups. The first group are the disbelievers. Then the second group, group are the believers. There, there, was, there wasn't any third group until when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated from Mecca to Medina when an Islamic state was established in Medina, some non-believers decided to hide their disbelief and present Islam practically. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has informed us that there are some who will say that we believe in Allah and the last day. But they are not believers. They are disbelievers. They think they deceive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the believers. But they are deceiving themselves without them knowing or feeling that they are deceiving themselves. So, hypocrisy is divided into two. The first one is called nifaqul i'tiqadi that has to do with our creed. Something that goes down to the belief. The disbelievers, they hide disbelief. Those people who hide their disbelief and they presented Islam to Allah, they are not Muslims. They are brothers of the disbelievers. Alam tara illa alladhina nafaku yaquluna li ikhwanihim manhum alladhina kafaru. So the disbelievers are the brothers of the hypocrite. This type of hypocrisy takes one out of Islam. And if somebody dies with this type of disbelief, with this type of hypocrisy, then he is certainly going to live eternally in the hellfire. He will never come out of it because initially he has never been a Muslim. Then the second category are those who are Muslims. They believe in Allah. They believe in the last day. But their actions, their features, some of their characteristics portrays that they have constituted some of the characteristics of the, of, of the hypocrites. And it was narrated uh, by Abdullah ibn Umar, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the signs of the, of the hypocrites are four, meaning those who have possessed these four qualities of hypocrites, then they are hypocrites. But those who possess part of these qualities, then they constitute part of hypocrisy. They have certain characteristics of the hypocrites until when they do away, they, 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 they abstain from those features. The first one is إِذَا حَدَّثَ كَذَبَ When he speaks, he tells lies. How many times today you find Muslims, they use lies even to get what to eat. They use lies to get whatever they want. They have taken lies to be a business venture. They have taken their lies to be a merchandise. They have taken their lives, lies to use as a, a way of, of survival. As a Muslim, one is not supposed to be doing that. It is forbidden. 
by Allah and his apostle for a Muslim to be even telling lies, not to talk of use lies to deceive others, to get something from them. وَإِذَا وَعَدَ أَخْلَفَ And when they've promised, they break the, their promises. How many times today? Breaking promise, in fact, fulfilling promise has become even a kind of uh, somebody that, 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 that fulfill his promise, they see him as somebody who has not come into town, somebody who has been a villager, somebody who is this or that, that he is not wise enough. He is, you know, as a Muslim, when you promise, you fulfill your promise because all promises are going to be questioned on the day of judgment. Then, when they are entrusted with certain things, they betray the, the trust that has been given to them. While Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is enjoining all the Muslims to return the trust given to them to their rightful owners. Then the fourth thing is when you argue or disagree or you litigate, there is litigation or there is go to pursue with somebody, then they, they demand more than their rights. They demand for more than their rights. If, I, if somebody borrows 100,000 from somebody, there is no written document. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has enjoined us to write evidence and agreement. We don't follow this. And at the end of the day, he will take him to court and say that he has collected one million from me. That is idha khasa mafajara. All those people that are doing this. If one is involved in one, two, three, then he has possessed certain qualities of the uh, hypocrites. But the one that has constituted the four, then he is definitely a, a, a hypocrite. Therefore, we are stating all this for somebody to look inwardly, look at himself and see which of these qualities Which of these features, which of these attributes is embedded in him so that he can do away with it? So that he cannot fall a prey for this type of uh, hypocrisy that is not taking one out of Islam, but it's a grave sin. It's one of the grave sins that Allah is going to punish somebody for. So as Muslims, we have to do our best to always try to be uh, a practicing Muslim. One should be a practicing Muslim, not a professing Muslim. We should not be professing Islam and doing the opposite. So this is basically, in a nutshell, what we have discussed with respect to our sermon for today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.